just got myself some Maria cookies like grandma used to give me. And a birthday card for Kevin. Where am I, you ask? I'm at the Algae in the Scatterway. So this is shopping. This is for my big brother, who's turning 30. This is going to have a birthday in the comments. This is going to be released that All right, it's early in the morning. On our way out. Beautiful Saturday. Peace starts with me. Say it with me. Peace starts with me. Come on, let me hear y'all say it again. Peace starts with me. That's all you need to say. Betty White in a lawyer commercial. Can't remember who it was for, but all I know is that it was during couple sports with the cutlers on the CW. Yeah. The dream I had last night that I saw Betty White in a lawyer commercial on the CW or In a dream, anything can happen, you know what I'm saying? Right? Maybe Betty White will do a lawyer commercial. You know? Or maybe it can be just a regular generic promo for Pix11, you know? Betty White seems like a cool person, you ask me, cool lady. I saw her in a commercial for a lawyer commercial. Or maybe it was just for the CW. Could be just a generic promo, just her endorsing the CW, right? We ain't that far. The nature of Piscataway speak for itself. Well, back there was South Plainfield. I know some of you are wondering, where is the Don Bond theme song? It's coming as soon as 
my train comes. You haven't even seen my face yet. Or seen me introduce the vlog. But as soon as I get to the home station, you'll see it right. That far. We're gonna make it. I'm not that late. look like Suzanne the Pass. Maybe it'll be Suzanne the Pass for real. <laughs> I've always wanted to meet Suzanne the Pass. Because you know, the lady who discovered Michael Jackson. You got Quincy in LA, and you got Suzanne here on the East Coast. First I'll get to me and Quincy for me and Mr. Pat. Okay. Just the thought of Betty White doing a lawyer commercial you know, got me all hyped up. Or just being on the WB, I mean, the CW. <laughs> I ain't just kid. You know what I'm talking about, right? Missy Elliott or a little Kim? We are still at the corner.
Hey guys, welcome to another day of vlog with Red Surprise! Yes, guys! <laughs> God is so good. Oh. Hit me up, man. Okay, today I'm going to do Peace Starts With Me again with Curtis Farrell. Today, my girl Joanne Rosario is up here in the New York area. Wow, I cannot blink. Here, Burrell, to you. Yolanda Adams is back again. So. Seems like a fun day. And we got an orchestra, so hit me up, man. Right now, we're just leaving, so I'll see you guys later. Quite frankly, I think that. I know you know. I think if Steve Harvey ends up having to leave him, I think that he should probably be replaced with Keenan Thompson. That'd be a great family feud host. You know what I mean? The next and last thing to stop is your penstation. Leaving the train, who wants to get? Thank you for riding the New Jersey train. We need to make a destination on Fort Payson A at 1 Hey everyone, it's Clarence, and I have to look at my email again to see what they meant by all black bottles. I thought they just mean pants. And I'm thinking that now I'm starting to think that they meant black shoes too. And I freaked out. I've been indoors for 45 minutes already, believe it or not. It's going because I'm freaking out. I don't have to be there until 11, so. Since it's about. Since it's almost 10 o'clock, I might as well just. Head over there, enough song. Okay, bye. Anybody remember that show, All of Us? It came out when I was in kindergarten on Channel 9 here in the New York City area. It was on UPN. 8.30 after 1 on 1, I think. Jada, you know I'm a fan of anyone that wants to And yeah. It was Will, Jada, and Uncle Ralph. So uh, yeah, I was so psyched for that show in 2003. We We're here. See you guys later. Deuces. Bye. Yeah, you heard that right. Until she said 5,000 voice choir. And you would have thought it was a sale. You would have thought it was a sale going on, viewers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. There's this lady right next to me. She's my friend Susan, dressed in this um, Frank's Red Hot kind of reddish suit. I mean, coat, lol. And that's who you heard on the, um, <laughs> I'm just joking.
Well, it's red like Frank, uh, I don't know. But, um, yes. I'm about to see if there's actually an orchestra and there is a percussion. About to see that. Okay. And go Flyers. That's all I gotta say. See if I actually met my goal. Hey guys, I'm not sure where to freaking go, but oh cool, we got a DW set. Hey, oh. Is that DW set? Oh, rolling. Sorry, guessing over there. Uh, alto, soprano, soprano, inside, lower third. Okay, start filling in the, the far side. But ladies, if you can help me out, I need to fill in that section before I start filling in these seats. So please find the soprano section on that side, please. Morning, yeah. Terry. How you doing, sir? I'm a tenor. Yes. Uh, follow uh, Donnie. Follow Donnie. All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, start filling in that that section. Wow. I'm not sure. If there's... Oh, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Look, beautiful. Are you a tenor? Yeah. Okay. Let us sit by the mic. Where's the mic? Oh, there's the mic right there. I don't. I want to be able so I can see. This is just all right. Where you want to go to the end, or where you want? Where you get the water? I Maybe. brought it from. I got it from got home. home. Where are you gonna sit? Um, not sure. This this is all tenor area right here. Yeah, this come over see, here. I want to sit here so I can see. Cause I'm close to yeah. the stage. Last yeah, I just want to get closer to the stage. Uh -huh. Last time I was way on the other side. I never liked the New Jersey Devils. <laughs> never. Well, I don't like sports, period. I'm a Philadelphia well, Flyers fan. I'm Clarence, and I'm a Philadelphia Flyers fan. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I love, I'm from New York. I remember. All right, y'all. Uh, you see the orchestra in the back. I'm not sure if there's percussion, but they should be. I'm not sure. But I finally got tickets for that dang Fantastic Four Schools. Look at that DW set right there. Yeah. We did it. We did it. The Devils suck. No, seriously. They suck. That's my opinion, what's yours? <laughs> Whatever. I never liked the name Devils. That's why I don't support New Jersey Devils. I'm sticking with Angels. You know, I mean Flyers, Philadelphia team. You know what I'm saying? Pastor Joanne, I listen to your prayer call all the time. Are you serious? Guess, oh my gosh, can we take a selfie? Oh my, okay, that, that. What are you doing here? I'm in the choir. Oh, that's fantastic. That is nice. So, we're both Geminis. Good people. All right, I'll see you later. Oh my gosh, God bless you. Hey guys, uh, I only have like 45 minutes to tell you this and then I gotta get back into show position for a uh, piece starts with me. But let me explain what 
treating 2020 like 2016 beats. Alright? I know what y'all thinking. What you mean, Rissy? Right? That's exactly what I told the other person that said it first. Alright? I was like, what you mean? Alright, here's what it means. Treating 2020 like 2016, basically, in my opinion, frankly, acting like the Trump presidency did not happen, ever. Acting like that embarrassment didn't happen. Obamacare is still in effect because you should have health insurance now. And basically... Michelle and Barack Obama still being in power. Like we still have a black president. For me, definitely acting like it took me until the Footloose audition to finally understand why I was not invited to Caitlyn Sweet 16. That it was because of the money, not because of, you know, some corny joke. Acting like I never considered Kane University as a choice. Acting like I graduated ahead, like two years ahead, because now I'm still like a freshman sophomore. It's been mine. But anyway, I just want to say that um, tonight in the Prudential Center, I mean today in the Prudential Center, 2020 is just. God giving us a second chance of clarity. Treating 2020 like 2016 is our Father giving us a second chance. That's why all the friendships I lost between 2014, I mean 2016 through 19, are being restored. Some of them, the ones that I needed, well, some I may not have needed, but you know, what is meant to be, will be. What God has for me, is for me. You know what I'm saying? So, treating 2020 like 2016, it all depends what you think. I think, you know, it's acting like Trump presidency never happened. That's what I think. I gotta go. But it was easy for me to tell you. I'll be back. Alright guys. So the show has officially started. And how did we open the show? We sang a very funky gospel song. Not from the 70s. But it has so many 70s grooves in it. It kind of samples working day and night, shake your pants, and some other 70s grooves that make me love this song. It's called You Are Good by Israel Houghton. And when I hear this song, I treat that song like any other song from the 70s, you know. I'm like that uncle, you know, that has an orange soda in his hand when he hears a good old classic song. I freaking love 70s music. Better than today's crap. But seriously, I'm like your grandparents' last born youngest son. That uncle that has this orange soda in his hand broke up with his ex girlfriend who was an older lady. You know? Your grandmother and grandfather's last born. Yeah, so that's how I am when I hear a good 75. I'm like about to get on the dance floor. I'm like that uncle that has an orange soda in his hand dancing. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I was. I was doing all those 70s grooves. I was doing all those disco moves when 
was like, you are good all the time, all the time. You are good, you are good all the time, all the time. You are good all the time. The reason why I get like that last born uncle that your grandmother and grandfather had is because, you know, I don't know why. I just love 70s music more than I like 90s boy bands and definitely music I grew up with. That's because You Are Good kind of sampled Feel me, feel me, does me, let them see, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You Are Good sampled Shake Your Pants. Check it out.
Thank you, Lord. Hey guys, would you like to make peace and rock out with your <laughs> out? <laughs> Just rocking out and making peace. Mm hmm. It's possible. Watch this. As some. As a youth group I've never heard of or seen before, actually rocks out while reminds us that unity and peace go hand in hand with love. Watch this. <laughs> December 28th, I'm live as a part of Peace Starts With Me's 2000 Voice Choir. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I know that these two, their birthday may not be today. All right. But I just wanted to say that. Um, I just wanted to bless them. And support them in front of, you know, work, you know, in front of my job. I just want to wish a very, 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 very happy birthday to two of my productees, Cookie Pie Jeffrey Dot N Moon and Moonlight Butterfly Miku. And why not support them, you know? 
why not wish them a happy birthday too? Subscribe to them, you know? All right. Help me, choir. Can you help me wish a happy birthday to Jeffrey, aka Cookie Pie 1997, and Lara, aka Moonlight Butterfly Miko? Yeah. All right. Oh, we got Pastor Joanne next to us. I was just saying, we, we got to go next. Um, yeah, we're not next to sing. Oh, we got Curtis Farrell right there. And Terry Gatson. All right. Let's just say. One, two, three. Say. Happy birthday to you. Cookie pie, I'm like if I make you Come on man. I don't know where you are, Cookie Pie Jeffrey Diane, or Cookie Pie 1997. Um, all I just want to say to you is, may being 22 bless you, may it elevate you, may it give you more self worth. May the Lord bless you because I'm about to be 22 in the following spring, 2020. And, you know, I'm going to start appreciating myself more. Start thanking God more. I thank God every year. Because, you know. And as for you, Moonlight Butterfly Miku, what are you going to be? 30, 29, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, th those people, um, they're laughing right now, um, uh, Cookie Pie, I don't know where you are, I think you said you were in Germany or something, I have no idea where you are, but, I know that your birthday on December 31st, may you turn blessings, blessings after blessings. You're about to be 22. So am I. All right. And as for you, Lara, may the Lord bless you as you turn 29. I'm about to be 29 in seven years and change. I want to bless God for both of you guys being productive. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for believing in the channel where I didn't. All right. And I know you're not that far from here. I know you're right down the You're right up the street in New York. If you want me to come up and do reaction videos with you? I sure can, you know. I'm only an hour away by train, you know what I mean? Only an hour away. Doesn't matter if I use Donellan or the two stations in Edison, Metro Park in North Edison and South Edison, where you'll usually find me, Edison Station. Even my touching, still an hour or away or something. May God bless you. May God bless you and your family. May God bless Amanda. I gotta go. 
But how about a prayer? Would y'all agree in prayer with me, choir? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today as we pray for two of my supporters. One of them is Jeffrey. The other is Omalara. And Heavenly Father, may their lives, may you bless their lives in a way that we do not see it come in. Father, I bless these people. I bless that one day they will be striving Everything that they do will be for the glory of you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Preach it. And Heavenly Father, coming Messiah, I pray that as we sing, we bless that crowd. We bless the entire New York City area. In fact, I want us to bless the entire Eastern Seaboard. With our pastorate, ministry, choir. Thank you, Lord. And once again, I pray for my family. I pray for this arena. I pray for Dr. Curtis Brown. Man, man, man. Yes. And Heavenly Father, I pray for me. And help me, Father, to come and know you, Lord, and be still and remember that you are God. And also love and appreciate myself and love my family and honor my family. And once again, bless Jeffrey and Omalara. As they enter a new year. Bless us coming into 2020. Lord. Now let me sell this. Let me seal this. Because we got to go. Join is out there waiting for us. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Give God a praise. Come on now. We got to go.
world churches are challenged to solve these critical issues. I believe that to tackle these challenges, believers around the world must unite. We are the anointed, the chosen, the blessed children of our Creator. And it is our duty and blessing to bring God and spirituality back to the family. Yes? Back to the communities and back to the nations of this world. It is particularly fitting that the launch of the WCLC is taking place in America. For over 50 years, true father and true mother have invested themselves so that America can fulfill its God-given mission. Let's go, America! On True Fest 1976, True Father spoke at Yankee Stadium, where he said, America is God's home. Indeed, the American forefathers fled from religious persecution in Europe to build one nation under God. This time our task is to build one world, no longer a nation, and a God. Yes? To do this, believers of the world must unite. Say it for the second time. The church must separate itself from sectarianism. Believers must work to achieve an ecumenical and an interreligious unity. For this, we need a spiritual reformation. This is the work of the World Clergy Leadership Conference, WCLC. This is why WCLC is so important and today's launch a historic one. Nobody has done it. It's been done for the first time. Realizing a heavenly, unified world of peace. Today, True Mother, the only recording daughter and clergy from all over the world, will launch WCLC. As believers, our desire is to realize the kingdom of God. A world of love. A world of happiness. A world of one family of humanity under God. Our heavenly parent. As clergy, spiritual leaders, this is our mission. It is truly our God-given sacred mission. God is crying out to the world, and we are His instruments. What then must we do? Beloved religious leaders, ladies and gentlemen, in the name of God, let us unite. In the name of God, let us unite. And together build the kingdom of God on earth by spreading the marriage blessing to all corners of the world. Because peace starts with the family. Yes? This year alone, in South Africa, True Mother hosted two blessing ceremonies, and you'll understand later on why. The first national blessing took place in June at Orlando Stadium, where over 60,000 people gathered and have a meeting True Mother for the first time. True Mother also made a special prayer where she blessed and liberated the youth who fought against oppression injustice and gave their lives for the sake of their country in South Africa. Then on December the 7th, 2000
19. Through Mother Health, the 200,000 continental blessing at the FNP Stadium. I thought you think saw some pictures. The largest stadium in Africa. Through the blessing, she declared the heavenly Africa. An Africa that is God-centered. An Africa of independence. Mutual prosperity and universal shared values. More than 3.5 million people joined the blessing through live coverage. Today, the blessing is spreading throughout the continent of Africa. Life begins in the mother's womb. That is why the earth is regarded as Mother Earth. It's actually a sum that I'm doing now. You will get one plus one plus one equals to three. One plus one plus one equals to three. Let me repeat. Life begins in the mother's womb. That is why the earth is regarded as Mother Earth. Africa is regarded as the motherland because it is where life is said to have begun. The last number is two. And Mother Moon, the true mother who is regarded as the mother of peace because she has lived her entire life for the sake of peace and to give new life to humanity through the blessing. In the case of Africa, we are trying to connect the universal mother of peace with the motherland so that we can bring peace to the mother earth. One plus one plus one equals to three. Mother land, mother earth, mother of peace. True mother never stops and never rests even for one single day. She's using all her energy, all her resources, above all, all her true love to save the 7.6 billion of people of the world by blessing them all. Today, through WCLC, true mother, the mother of peace, the only begotten daughter, needs our full support. As religious leaders, as WCLC, let us build together a unified world of peace and harmony together by spreading the, the blessing everywhere. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless America. God bless you all. Please welcome one of today's most loved worshippers, known for her debut album, More, More, More. Joanne Rosario Country. If you love Jesus in here, I just want you to lift your hands all over this room. If he's your savior, if he's your Lord, if he's your everything, I don't know about you, but I know him as a weight maker, as a promise keeper, lily of the valley, bright morning star, my healer, my savior, my deliverer, my soon coming king. He's our everything, and we just bless him for his goodness. Amen. I'm going to share this song in Spanish, Waymaker, but if you know it in English, please feel free to sing along, okay? Te adoraré, te adoraré. 
Aquí estás obrando en mí. Te adoraré, te adoraré. Aquí estás. Siempre 
hasn't been easy. And yet, I believe together we can build God's family.
the turmoil that our world happens to be in today. <coughs> These words will ring true for as long as anyone can remember. Written by Bert Backright and Hal David. What the world needs now.
Okay guys, we're going home right now, and I'm not sure if I'm going to take Janelle train station or Edison. Probably Edison. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, our next station stop is Edison, Edison station next. First two cars move back, and the last two cars move forward. If you're trying to get off in Edison, our next station stop is Edison. Edison Station next. Move to the front or to the back for Edison. The next station is Edison. When leaving the train, please watch the gas.
Now, goodbye. And here, everybody has a place to belong. Um, oh hey, guys. Hey. Dean, how are you? I'll get your picture. I'm a huge fan. Okay. Oh, is this what it is, guys? It's Frenzy. Um, 